Hi guys, it's your girl Mikirox21 here and today I'll be showing you guys how to make a thumbnail in a time frame of about 10 minutes unless you're just starting with Photoshop. This will be an easy beginner tutorial for Photoshop since I'm not much familiar with it but I do know some tips and tricks. So the first thing you ought to do is go to Google and look up the background you want. You guys can pick whatever background you want but I prefer to do one without animals or without anything that will be too distracting. You can copy the image from Google and paste it into Photoshop by pressing edit and paste or control V on your keyboard. To expand the image, you can press control T on your keyboard as a shortcut and simply apply. I'll start with the text now. The font I'm using is Tiki Island. This is one of the most popular ones and is the one used for Animal Jam. To make the text larger or shape it, you can press control T on your keyboard once again. You can rotate it and make it larger. I will continue this with two more text layers. Right now our image will be bland, but we can play around with text. We can do this by clicking on the text layer twice. This tab will open up giving us choices to change the way our text appears. I personally will be doing a gradient overlay and adjusting it to my settings. I will also stroke the text. Use a drop shadow. When you like the settings, you can press OK. Continue this with any other text in the image. From here on out, look for clip art images online and add them to your background or use any renders you would like. Personally, I will be blurring out my background slightly. You can do this by clicking on the layer you would like to blur, filter, blur, and you can explore these options in Blur. I will be using Gaussian Blur. The text effects can also be used on any render placed or any image placed. I will be adding a drop shadow to the render I have used. For detail, I will add a dashed line. To change the color of an image, you can go to Color Overlay and choose the color you would like. For more detail, I will add shapes into the piece and add them to my liking.
Continue adding detail until you are satisfied with the image. Personally, I like what I have. Therefore, I will be adding a gradient and turning it into an overlay. Press the gradient button and put it in which direction you would like it to go and how far down. Go to your layers and pick overlay or whichever suits the picture. From here on out, you will go to file, save as, and save it as a JPEG file or any of the files picked. A JPEG will be able to be used as a thumbnail for YouTube. Save it under these measurements, OK, and your image will be saved and you can place it as a thumbnail on YouTube. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'm sorry it was kind of bland, but I wanted to start a video on how to start off your YouTube channel because I know this is something a lot of people struggle with and it's just a thing I should have known a long time ago, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully I can see you guys making thumbnails around. Tell me if this tutorial helped you and show off your shared images. Hopefully you guys have a jam-tastic day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Bye. Oh, but I made it on my friend. <gasps>